slow down is number one. <laughs> you know, sometimes you really have to, to stop looking, focus on self, you know, take and, and focus on the problems that you may have been internalizing, um, you know, really deal with that and, and get closer with God. Um, if you, you can't get past that, like I mentioned earlier for myself, what I use is that that model that is engraved in my head. Just focus on becoming the person you're looking for is looking for. If you have somebody in mind that you like, you want in terms of just not physical, but it's just characters and traits, become that person. If you see this person being a six figure, uh, you know, athletic, uh, just God fearing, family oriented, um, just has no other debts. Be that. Be that person. Become that person. Emulate exactly what you're wanting on your laundry list um, of, of whatever criteria it is that you have. And you'll be surprised what God has in store for you because he'll use that as a tool to bring him closer to, to, to him. So it, that's what happened to me. And I know that my God is a good God. And, and if he can do it for me, he can do it for any. But let the people know that you had a list of how many items on that you had to have in a female. I think it was like 20. And I did not meet all of those 20 things. Yeah, it was like 80, 20. Yeah. And, um, it's, and same with me. He didn't hit everything that was on my list. Even though, like, one of my pastors, they said, change your list. Make it godly. Because I had my list, too, but it was very, it wasn't godly. <laughs> so I changed it to be godly. But um, so I was able to hit more points. Um, but Sweet. still not all of them, you know, because God creates everyone differently. Yep. So that's one thing I would say. Throw away your list. Throw it away. You don't know who God has for you. You don't know what God has for you. Let God bless you. Let him bless you. You can't tell yourself what God's will is. You can't tell him what your husband looks like or what your wife looks like. You can ask God for those things, but say, you know, whatever, whatever. But throw it away. Um, I would say just get involved with your church um, and you just never know what, and I'm only speaking for like women because I don't really know what God speaks through to men. You know, it's it's a whole different ball game and, you know, the men have to find the wife. I can't give a man advice, you know, um, but just for the women, just, you know, focus on joining your church, being involved in whatever way, um, and God, be in that relationship with God, because God promises you, God promises you that um, if you're with him and your future husband is with him, your husband, God will lead your husband to you, like without a shadow of a doubt, you have to trust God. Mm -hmm. He promises you the desires of your heart, promises it. You have to believe it. It's true. Mm -hmm. That is so good. And what I realize is when people when they write a list, they usually write a list to make them sub comfortable. But mm -hmm. Seth said it, you have to be comfortable with being uncomfortable. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so usually when I see lists, it's like, oh, I want this person so I can cater to my comfort. But God's like, no, because if you're comfortable, you're not going to grow. So exactly. I got to see you this person, I'm going to get you uncomfortable so you can grow and y'all can go together and build a kingdom that I've created y'all to build. Yep. Yep. So, Absolutely. Last piece of advice. Uh, and keep going don't give up um don't give up you know take it if it seems too hard take it one day at a time one hour at a time one minute at a time god is right there with you mm -hmm. he will never leave you he will never forsake you his yoke is easy and his burden is so very light so you know just give it to him and he'll take care of it yeah and you know if he if god can do it if he's done it before he can do it again and all you need, you don't need much. You just need a mustard seed of faith. Um, and, you know, just taking that, any interaction that you have, platonic, romantic, just put yourself in a position of just going into that being a blessing to, to someone. Even if it doesn't work out in your favor, just know that leave that situation with tools. You know, it's okay because I know God loves me. I know God loves you. Need to work out for both of us yeah, at the end of the yeah. day. Uh, so, because there's just gonna be so many circumstances for every different person. So, just go into that with that headspace that it's okay. Um, God loves you. Just be a blessing in someone's life. You don't have to leave spiteful. You don't have to leave upset. 
there's going to be disappointments. You have to be willing to accept disappointments and, and, and just move on because God is just using those as tools to make you better because he, you don't know, he may be saving you from or for the person that is really meant for you. So that relationship that may not have worked may have been God trying to protect you for your actual spouse that is to come. So it's just preparation. Thank you for watching this video. If you want more content, subscribe over here and watch the next video over there. God bless you.